You're watching S'more RV Tours. So welcome back to another S'mores RV Tour. My name is Ryan, I'm with uh, Campers in on 309, halfway between Hatfield, Pennsylvania and Allentown, I'm sorry, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania and Allentown in Hatfield, PA. I've got something very, very special for you guys today. I have a handmade custom coach here for you. It is a Phoenix Cruiser. And this model specifically is a 2351, which is a queen bed series. It's a dual slide. And I want to just take one second here. I want to thank my customers, Joe and Nancy. Uh, they were kind enough that we have this custom coach made for them that they allowed us to, uh, to show this to you guys today. So most people about a Phoenix Cruiser would never accidentally stumble upon it. So lucky you, uh, you're going to stumble upon it today. Uh, most people are actually introduced to this coach. So uh, let's start with a little bit of nuts and bolts. So uh, Phoenix Cruiser starts with the best. They're gonna start with the uh, 5.7 liter V8 Ford engine on a Ford chassis. They're gonna send that chassis out to a company called Moride. Moride does a lot of things in the RV industry, but they're actually gonna stretch that chassis so that we can put all the camper on there. The other thing that they're gonna do is because it's done by Moride, it is all under the Ford factory warranty. So it doesn't void any of your warranties. And they actually do the most advanced instrument cluster that uh, Ford offers. The other thing I wanna talk about on this chassis is they do uh, two things. One, they're gonna do a rubber pucking system between the chassis and the actual camper, reduces vibration from the road into the camper. So it gives you just a little bit nicer of a ride, a little less of that road noise, and a little bit of less of that uh, vibration. They're also gonna do a heat shield between the chassis and the actual camper, so that as you're driving along, you're not accidentally heating up the camper, making the air conditioners work harder than they, what they need to. So uh, enough about kind of the nuts and bolts of, of the chassis, but let's talk about the actual front of this coach. So they boast one of the best paint jobs in the industry. They do a triple uh, gel coat on this camper as well, and they wet sand in between each one of the layers. So as we go along to the sides of the camper, you're gonna see some graphics. They do a three-tone colors on these. Um, those graphics are actually vinyl graphics, but they are buried into the paint. So it seems like one nice, smooth, continuous uh, paint job. And again, it's just a spectacular paint job. And uh, because this is a handmade custom coach, they only make about one to two of these a week. Um, the colors are fully customizable. They offer, I believe, nine color schemes now, but say you are a San Francisco 49ers fan uh, and you want this thing in red and gold, I can do it for you. You may never sell it here in, uh, in uh, Eagles country, but uh, you know if it's, it's your rig, I can help you out with that. One other thing I wanna show you too is they use a product called Diamond Shield. They put it on all the front facing and all of the high touch areas. So it's such a good product, it's almost invisible, but there's a thin layer. You can actually see it here in the front. You might, probably not gonna pick it up on the camera, but the idea behind that is stone chips, like you're putting the key into the car, those high touch areas. It is a lifetime guarantee that this will never fade, crack, peel, or chip. So again, you're, you got this wonderful coach. It only continues to help you protect this coach. So come with me. We're gonna go along the business side next, okay? All right, you guys, welcome over to the business side. Driver side tends to be business side, so let's go over a little bit of the business before we get over to the pleasure. One thing I really wanna point out to you guys is, uh, you know, we were talking about the paint job. They do that same exact paint job on the slide boxes. Not many camper companies out there will do that. These guys, the same paint that's gonna be on this coach, on the outside of the coach is the same thing that they're doing on the slide boxes. Still got the chip, triple gel coat on there. Um, just again, just a beautiful coach, well protected, gonna last you a lifetime. The other thing I wanna talk about too is curves. This baby has got some curves. Now the reason that it has some curves is so that it's a little easier to drive down the road. So you're probably asking yourself, you know, what kind of camper is this? Is this an A? Is this a B? Is this a C? Well, an A is gonna be that bus style. So there's Georgetowns, there's FR3s, those types of things. Those are gonna be your A's. A B is gonna be more often than not a Mercedes Sprinter chassis or a Dodge Promaster chassis. And a C is gonna be kind of like this. However, this kind of falls in a unique category. They call this a B plus. So the idea with a B plus is, is you're gonna get 
kind of the functionality of a C, but just in a little bit smaller of a wheelbase. And this front cap here, a lot of times you're gonna find, this is where a bunk bed's gonna be for that family. This is really designed to be a couple's coach. Can you sleep four people in here? Absolutely, we got dedicated bed space for all that. But instead of putting bunks up here, now we're gonna put some extra cabinetry and some entertainment options up in there. And I'll show you when we get on the inside. Come with me, I wanna show you guys some other things here along the back of the coach. So this camper is a 30 amp coach. We have your shower set up here. So if you wanna do the outdoor shower, by all means, I like going to the beach, I like going to the lake, but I'm kinda of dirty when I come back. This is a great way to just get cleaned off before you uh, get into the coach. Uh, dogs, kids, those kinds of things, great way to keep them clean too. And it's warm water. You're not gonna have to take that cold shower of shame. Um, and you got a real good shower inside as well. Uh, speaking of hot water, uh, this is a Truma AquaGo system on here, so it's hot water on demand. Even though it says on demand, give them about 10 minutes for it to get really hot, uh, but you basically have unlimited hot water by using this system. You also have your city water connection up here. This is a gas coach, but really the whole reason I wanted to bring you back here is Phoenix does something kind of special. They do a macerating system. So, and what that means is when you are emptying that black and gray tank, they actually, that macerator is kind of like a blender. It's gonna blend everything up on the coach and it's gonna pour it right out of this hose. It's gonna literally pump it out for you. And you're saying, Ryan, what happens when that macerator just malfunctions? One, uh, they don't tend to malfunction. They, they're very well built. It's an insulated box in here. Um, they do insulated tanks as well. So your black tanks, your gray tanks, your freshwater tank, they're all 12 volt heating pads on there. They are designed to take uh, some adverse weather. But the other idea is, you know, this macerator, say it would fail on you. Um, you actually have an additional standard dump gate back here. So again, not real fun talk, but it's necessary here with the camper. You know, you fill it up, what do you do with it? Well, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna be able to run the macerator. It's gonna blend everything up and you can just pour it right out of the coach. If you didn't wanna use that or say the macerator malfunction, you actually have a standard dump gate here just like you would find in any other camper. So let's go around to the back of the coach and I wanna show you a few things back there. All right, you guys, so welcome back to the rear of the coach here. A couple things I wanna go over with you. So uh, this is that 5.7 uh, liter V8 Ford engine. They call it the Godzilla engine. It is, it is a wonderful engine. It sounds great, it performs. And again, it's the same engine that we're using in our big class A's. So you'll never lack for power. So you wanna bring that extra boat along. You wanna bring that little car along. Hey, you got your hitch receiver here on the back. You have your seven pin and it's already pre-wired for a brake controller if you wanna add that. The other thing I wanna show you while we're looking down here is these little guys. So say you got that big steep driveway. Well, hey, this is gonna prevent you from bottoming out at the bottom of that driveway. And the other thing that uh, Phoenix Cruiser does is that they really balance the coach. There's minimal overhang from the rear tires to the back of this coach. So by it being balanced, it just drives a lot easier uh, and maneuvers a lot better. And by having those curves I was showing there alongside as well, wind resistance really gets cut down. So right above here is our rear trunk space. And these coaches are, again, handmade coaches. They are highly customizable. So this one is using the full rear um, storage area, but if you wanted to add a spare tire on the rear, you can. It just cuts this space in half. So think of like your lawn chairs, those kinds of things. Right now I got your shoreline and those kinds of things, store, things stored back here. It's all strutted so it holds up on its own. And when you're done, you just close it and you got those slam latch luggage doors just like you do on a lot of high-end coaches. Because again, you know, luxury is the name of the game with this guy here. You also have your rear observation camera. Uh, you can have that running as you're going down the road, so you can kind of use it as a rear view mirror. It also does side cameras as well, so when you fire on your left turn signal, right turn signal, it's gonna be checking your blind spots for you as well. So let's get on to the pleasure side where we get a little more fun. So again, we have a slide over here on the passenger side. This is a little bit different, right? We don't see this very often on a lot of coaches because again, your picnic table, this is where you're gonna be doing your pleasure stuff. But your queen bed is actually hiding in here, which, uh, you know, it just makes a lot more space for the coach. You have slide toppers over here. Again, another painted box, just like we were talking about before. These slides, they actually paint them the same way that they're gonna paint the, the regular coach. And then you have a full power on and goes over the entire length of this coach. Um, so come on over this way here. 
We have a little bit more storage back here. Again, I'm not gonna climb underneath there for right now because of the way I have this slide out, but there's a drawer in there. It is available for wet things. So like if you wanna run some ice and sodas and stuff, there's also a table in there that flips up so you can stand more things up in there. Um, but just remind yourself that, hey, if you're storing things in there, uh, that bay can get wet. So if you're driving down the road, it's a rainy day or something like that, uh, put things in there that are okay to get wet. So come along the side here. Your battery tray is right here. This coach is actually set up with uh, AGM batteries, which I would definitely recommend. You can get lithium batteries, you can get AGM batteries, or you can get a standard lead acid battery. This one we did an AGM battery, which stands for aug augmented glass material. Uh, it's a maintenance-free battery. Um, just really makes things a lot easier, a lot less maintenance, and will keep you going uh, a little bit longer. Um, the other thing I want to show you too is you have automotive glass in here with a frameless window. So your gaskets are going to be behind this window and because those gaskets are behind the window that means that's less work for you because you don't have to oil those gaskets, you don't have to maintain those gaskets. They're already sealed in there underneath the window and you got a little bit of a rainy day. You can open up those windows. They kind of open up like this and set side to side so you can have it open even if it is raining a little bit. And one thing here before we go inside, I just wanna show you, take a look at this door. You see how it's bent? It's bent on purpose because again, this coach is designed to be aerodynamic. Let's go inside and show you some of the goodies in there. All right, you guys, welcome to the fun stuff. We're inside here. Uh, we're gonna start here in the cockpit. Uh, so on this Phoenix Cruiser, like I said, they, they start with the most advanced uh, instrument cluster and chassis that Ford will offer them. They stretch that chassis over at More Ride to, to take all the camping on top of it. They use a puck system. Their flooring, they actually use a two and a quarter inch flooring. And the way this works is they do a quarter inch rodent barrier. They're gonna do an inch and a half tubular aluminum uh, framing. And they do that in the walls and the ceiling as well. And they do foam block insulation in between. And then you're gonna have uh, half inch plywood decking on top. So again, very strong surface and uh, it's gonna last a lifetime for you. One of the things I wanna show you though here in the front is this, uh, this Garmin GPS. Right, it's gonna do more than just your GPS. It's your stereo, it's your camera system, does all that stuff. And we're getting in nice and close, but tell you what, this thing has a little secret. It comes right off. So the idea with this is, hey, uh, I need to find out a point of interest. I need gas, right? I don't have to lay across the dash to be able to do that. I can pick this up just like an iPad or an Android tablet of your choice, but this will do everything I need to do. It has over 30,000 points of interest, and you can program this coach and anything you're towing behind you so you have the overall height and length of your coach, and it will never take you to a bridge or an overpass that you can't get under. In fact, it will even only steer you to gas stations that your rig can comfortably get to. So uh, again, just a really nice piece. Give me a call, shoot me an email. I'd love to talk to you more about that if you have questions. If you have a current rig, you can always upgrade to these two for my friends over at Garmin. Um, so, you know, all this stuff is pretty self-explanatory. You know, we all have a car, we know how the air conditioning, all that kind of good stuff works. But up here in the front, uh, with this, dis uh, this instrument cluster, this is where you're gonna be able to control your cruise control, your hands-free uh, telephone. Uh, you can get your calls and all that kind of stuff from there. You're gonna see your mileage. You're gonna see how long it's gonna be until you're due till empty. You'll get your average miles per gallon. Uh, basically, all the information that you could possibly want, you can get right from here. Also has a tire pressure monitoring system as well so that we know what the pressure is in the tires at any given time. So again, that's kind of the, the front of this coach here with the chassis. Uh, let's go and actually, can we take a look right above me here? We have a 36-inch uh, Samsung Smart Television. This is tied into a five-speaker JBL Pro Audio system. Also has a subwoofer in it. So you can actually control your amp and how much volume's coming out of there. Indoor, outdoor speakers. And in fact, right here beside me, this is where you're gonna have your JBL uh, input that you can uh, you know, change your sources and all that stuff, and your Sony Blu-ray player underneath. So like I was talking about on the outside, usually in a Class C motorhome, this area is gonna be filled up with a bunk. Well, now we're gonna be putting some wonderful entertainment options and some extra storage. So let's get repositioned. Let me show you a little bit more of the inside of the coach here because there's a lot of wonderful things for them to offer. Oh, and I love to say one more thing. One more thing while we're up here. 
these are hand stitched seats. It's real leather. It's made by a guy named Paul Seats uh, out in Elkhart, Indiana, and they're made specifically here for the Phoenix Cruiser. Wonderful, comfortable coach, and uh, can't wait to show you a little bit more about it. Let's go back. All right, so we're talking about these full grain leather from Paul Seats. They do the same thing here in this movie theater seating, but this seating does a couple things for you. Uh, one thing I want to talk about real quick first is, hey, so we got real hardwood cabinetry. I mean, just the real deal. Uh, we have solid, uh, solid doors, easy glide hinges, um, just, a, just a superior coach. You also have a couple options here with your uh, shades. You can do a day shade so that you just, you know, you can see out, but they can't necessarily see in, and it keeps you a little bit cooler in the coach. And then at night, you also have that you can do a full night shade. That way you can get the coach nice and dark. But back to the seats real quick. So we got our cup holders here. We get here and we're relaxing. You can actually adjust these any which way you like. But let me put it back up. Let me show you a real quick trick. So this comes out. So let me just set this here to the side. And then there's a little trick here. So underneath here, there's a little handle. We pull that handle out and now we have a pedestal. So while we're hanging out, sit down, put your feet up, relax. Mm, the angle isn't right for me. I get there. Oh, that's so much better. When I'm watching that big old TV over there, that's on a full motion mount too. So I can move in any which direction I want. Well, the other thing is too, Say you bring those guests along. You gotta have a spot for them because you know, you're a good host. You're not gonna make them go sleep by the campfire. So this seat will actually go the whole way down and the one beside it will do the exact same thing. And now, instead of just having a comfy recliner and ottoman, you have a full bed that you can actually lay down in and your guests can have a comfortable spot to stay the night with y'all. So let's move on over. We're gonna talk about the kitchen galley next. Uh, and I'll meet you there, okay? All right, you guys, so we're in the kitchen. One thing, I, you wouldn't believe just how many things we can cover in this coach, but you know, we saw the seats over there on the other side that we can fold down, we can make some beds, we can make some ottomans, we can make ourselves comfortable. You also have a European chair here that will allow you to put your feet up. It's fully movable. Just don't put somebody in it when the coach is actually moving. The seats that we were showing earlier, they have seat belts behind them as well, so you can bring those extra guests. They can ride safely in there, but again, Super comfortable chair available to you. When we get into the galley, when you first walk in, your battery disconnect's gonna be right here. Your stabilizer system's gonna be right here. And then the controls for your lights and all that kind of good stuff. And then your Xantrax uh, solar system. I'm sorry, this is a uh, Samalex uh, solar controller there. But the whole reason I'm bringing you over this side is, I wanna talk about the galley. So solid surface countertops. They do this over top of the sinks as well. And you know what? They, they really engineer this coach very well because they find something to, for everything. So this uh, sink top right here, when you're using it, it can slide right in here. Enormous sink in here. Full on movable spigot here. You have a countertop extension as well. We have a two burner European cooktop on here as well. And then this actually, this coach isn't out, outfitted with an oven. They do a convection oven and it's a 30 inch home convection oven. So you don't lack for space. In fact, I, I have all the stuff inside, but I mean, take a look, oh my goodness. You know, could you put a whole dinner plate in here? Absolutely. And let's just take a look here too. Coffee maker, need to charge your phone, all that kind of good stuff. You have that available to you. And that goes up and down as you desire. Behind us here is our Norcold uh, propane electric refrigerator and freezer. They do it just like those Sub-Zero refrigerators you see in a residential home where it's got the same matching cabinets on there. So going down the road, you can keep everything nice and cold when you get to the campsite, plug into the uh, RV post, good to go. And uh, I'll tell you what, I have friends that are owners of a Newmar King Air. If you know anything about RVs, that is you know one of the creme de la creme coaches, but it's usually you know a million dollar coach, right? It's not maybe meant for all of us, but they were just absolutely amazed by the pantries in here. So there's a locking system on here so that these drawers don't just open up loosey goosey going down the road. And I'll tell you, this is one thing that a Phoenix Cruiser has on it that a uh, Newmar is lacking. So this is kind of our uh, kitchen area. 
We have a nice 15,000 BTU air conditioner. While we're talking about coolness now, let's talk about heating this up. 30,000 BTU furnace. So it's an oversized furnace for this size cabin. So again, you wanna be out in the off season, this coach will allow you to do so. Six foot three ceilings. They also do soft surfaces. So if you guys, if I could, I don't know if I can show this to you guys, but again, it's just kind of squishy. So if you do bump your head, you're against any of these cabinets. It's just a very, very quiet ride going down the road. And again, right here beside my head is another one of those JBL speakers, 5.1 system here built into the coach. When we slide back here to the bedroom, when we're going to put that slide in, believe it or not, this bed kind of just breaks down in half. This pedestal will never move. The slide will come in, but the pedestal stays the same. So this hallway space here stays exactly the same, okay? So I'm gonna reposition so you guys get a better uh, view of the, of the bedroom here. And uh, then we'll go into the bathroom next, okay? So I'll see you in just a second. All right, you guys, so got a little better view of the bedroom here for you. A couple things I wanna point out is they do uh, three fantastic fans in these uh, campers. You have one in the main cabin, you have one here in the bedroom, you also have one in the bathroom. Moves about 320 cubic feet per second, so it's gonna turn this cabin over twice per minute, and you have three of them. So I probably wouldn't run all three at the same time, but if you're uh, like an air conditioner off household, you can run this crack those windows, run that um, screen door, and you can create an incredible cross breeze in here. So, but the bedroom itself, right? We got a nice queen bed here. Uh, this was optioned with the optional uh, bedding package. So it matches all the valances and all that kind of good stuff. Just kind of ties the coach together. But when you're in here in the bedroom, right? Know your customer and Phoenix Cruiser does that very well. So you have uh, little um, like nightstands here on both sides, that same solid surface countertop that you have in the uh, galley you're gonna have here. There's gonna be power outlets at both ends. So if somebody needs to run a CPAP machine or anything like that, you have USB up here, you have map lights. And then again, there's some additional speakers back here for your 19 inch television. This is on a full motion mount as well. Uh, pro tip though, uh, when this slide is in, this TV should be locked in place because if it's not, it will tap against that slide. So there's a little lock back here that you can use to get everything locked into place. But again, when you're hanging out in the bedroom, winding down for the night, you, uh, you can watch TV in bed and have a wonderful time. Let's go into the bathroom. I'll show you some really nice features in there as well. So again, really nice sizable bathroom for this style uh, camper. You have a porcelain toilet, solid surface countertops. And uh, if you are a bidet, we got one available to you. It does a hand, uh, hand wand there. If you're a bidont, it's okay. Don't worry about that. Uh, you got a full shower in there, head well. I'm six foot three, I fit in there just great. And uh, again, those same solid surface countertops and hardwood cabinetry falls through uh, as well into the bathroom so that uh, you are experiencing luxury in every corner of this coach. All right, folks, I wanna thank you again for spending some time with me going over this Phoenix Cruiser 2351D. Again, beautiful handmade coach. Give me a call, shoot me an email. Really, the only way that we can get a hold of these is actually ordering one for you. And they, again, most of everything in here is customizable to a degree, the colors, the shapes, everything. So let's talk about that a little bit more. And if you're enjoying the content that we're producing here for you guys, you're gonna hear YouTubers tell you a lot. You know, hey, hit that subscribe button, smash a like, and leave us a comment. There's a reason, right? The YouTube algorithm will promote us if, uh, if you like this content. So again, if you like what we're doing here, Please share it. Please like, subscribe, and comment below. Tell me what you like about the coach, and we reply to everybody. So again, here's to you guys. Thank to you and the viewers. Let's, uh, let's have a wonderful summer, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.
Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe for s'more videos. They're coming soon.